Kahapon nga po ay naganapang laban ng Alaska at NLEX kung saan nanalo nga po ang Road Warriors kung saan sa first half pa lang eh nawala na nga itong si Yeng Yao sa loob ng court dahil nga sa kanyang maagang dalawang technical fouls. Kaya naman sa isang interview eh may sinabi nga si Yeng Yao sa bagay na ito. Kaya naman sa ating video mga kabiboy ay atin nga pong pag-uusapan yan. Pero kung bago ko pa lang sa aking channel ay huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe. So, uh, could, could you take us dun sa nangyari yung sudun? Uh, uh, wala lang. Uh, profane language daw eh. Dati naman ako gano'n, hindi <laughs> naman ano, ano, I don't think it was really extraordinary for me. Uh, uh, but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Uh, Coach Jonas did an excellent job taking over from, from me. Plus the guy stepped up, plus the guy stepped up. But really it was, I think, our defense that did it for us. <laughs> I was pretty confident na kahit wala ako sa loob just as long as we execute the game plan, we'll be okay. Kasi well prepared naman yung preparation namin. Well prepared naman yung team uh, defensively against Alaska. Plus, we caught Alaska. We played good defense and we caught Alaska on a really bad night. Mm -hmm. Siguro, low of averages then they played really well against the uh, Ginebra. Kinampa ka nila yung Ginebra. So, meron talagang ups and downs. No? So, just so happened that uh, we played our, probably our best defensive game on their off night. Mm -hmm. So, that's, that's, that's what happens. Uh, it's also our belated birthday gift to our uh, president, no? si Boss Rod Franco. So, we really wanted to win one for him. So, uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure he'll be happy with the, with the win, especially with uh, what happened against uh, San Miguel. Sa akin din kasi, yung today's game could be a good sign because we need to win the next three games actually. So, we need this confidence boost. To, to be able to have a chance of doing that. Also, parang nakarecover na rin kami dun sa talo namin sa San Miguel kasi galing kami sa mahabang makasyon na of course, I was still with the Gilas program then and we probably were distracted as a team. We probably were distracted from all the things going on around us and this is this could be a sign that uh, we're getting back our goals so this is a good sign for the team in general um, i'm so used to it so i don't have a reaction anymore no? uh, ganun lang talaga yun eh. Eh, Sometimes you blow your top, sometimes uh, uh, I think uh, we need to send a, a message to the referees. For one, I think yung nangyari kay Wami should have been, should have been an F2. Sinadya siyang matawin sa mukha. To me, that's a clear F2. Mm -hmm. Yung, uh, other, I don't know, other, siguro, other missed calls or bad calls. Uh, I don't know, I was still watching sa dugout on TV. And I could still, I don't know, I could still... Uh, 
see uh, uh, a lot of them. Another thing also is yung si Wami nasa midcourt. No? Nagpanggaan lang sila yung Alaska player. They call the follow on Wami. Uh, I think those things should not be taken for granted. Okay. I think uh, those things should be uh, taken up no? uh, during their uh, no? during their deliberations. Ano? Uh, para parang naglulusen up tayo sa, sa officiating. And these are the crucial stages. Ginebra, Malayo. Uh, actually, we're still playing... We're still playing Blackwater yata Sunday. Uh, next week pa naman yun. Next week na lang natin kung sa akin. Sige, thank you. Thank you. Kaya naman yun. Hanggang dito na lang at she. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybayan once again. This is me, Bob Gamestyle TV, saying... <laughs> Bye-bye.